Hi, it's Tracy with Gypsy Wagon Knits again. And um, this is a follow-up on the series that I'm doing. In the first one, we cast on. And then I, the second one, I showed the knit stitch. So if you were to do the knit stitch across and then flip it over and do the knit stitch back, you end up with what's called a garter stitch. And this is what this looks like. So, and it's a nice firm stitch. One of the nice things about this is it doesn't curl. It's, it lays relatively flat on the edges and the bottom. So it's good for um, using things that are flat. Uh, you can do it. You don't have to put an edging stitch in there to keep it keep it nice and tidy. It's the basic stitch that we have. But say you want to do something a little bit different. You want to have what looks what we call stockinette stitch, which looks like the traditional knitted stitch. So in that case, you would knit across the front. This is the front. And then you flip it over and you do a purl stitch. So I'm going to show you the difference with the purl stitch. The knit stitch, you went through the front, right? And wrapped it around and pulled it back. And that's the knit stitch. This is a little bit different. You're going to go in through the side, right to left. Keep it in the front, right in the back right here. And you, you pull, pull, wrap it around and you pull it through, okay. So you go, pull it, stick it in, wrap it around, pull it through. Stick it in, pull it through, slide it off. Stick it in, off. Wrap, off. Wrap, off. And you're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way across. And this is called the purl stitch, it's P-U-R-L. And in the next video, I'm going to show you this is a combination of stitches. You can do knit, knit two, and then purl two, and you'll end up with a ribbing. Okay, which a lot of people use for edges and cuffs and everything else, hats. But you can see where it's a little bit different there. Now it's got the traditional knitted stitch. So you can go ahead and knit through again. So you knit, knit again on the front. This is the front. And then I'm going to show you what the back looks like. And through the front. That's the knitted stitch. probably cut this part out. It's a little bit like watching paint dry or grass grow. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And give it a little bit of a tug down here, kind of straighten it out. And you can see already how much difference it looks. So you've got a ribbing, ribbing starter stitch down here and the stockinette stitch that gets above it. And that, that is that. And then you can just keep going and it'll get longer and longer. Um, in the next one, I'm going to show you, I'll knit a little bit further, and I'm going to show you how to do a ribbing stitch. That's it. Thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube, and then the bell, and it'll let you know when our subsequent uh, videos come out. We'll be covering all through this month. I'm going to be posting videos every day about basic stitches, and uh, and so we'll get you on your way, get you up and running as a knitter. Actually, right now, if you can do this, you're a knitter. So that's good. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.